We've taken the functionality of the Microsoft Tunnel Client app for Android and added it to the Defender for Endpoint app. You don't need to use Defender for Endpoint to use Tunnel, but using them together provides a single app where you can see the security of your device as well as connect to internal resources. The experience inside the Defender for Endpoint app has been updated to accommodate this new functionality. Let's take a look at the app. I've assigned this app to my Intune Managed Android phone in an environment licensed for Defender for Endpoint. My landing point here is the Dashboard tab, where I can see a summary of the elements of Defender and Tunnel on my device. I can see that my device is protected. I can see that App Security and Web Protection are both enabled and active, and I can also see that Tunnel is disconnected. For more information, I can either click on any of these links up here, or I can tap through the tabs below. Here's the tab for App Security. Here's the tab for Web Protection. And then finally, the tab for Tunnel, where if I'm not connected, I can go ahead and connect to my Tunnel Gateway server. In a few seconds, I'll be connected. Now that I'm connected, I can go ahead and see statistics for my Tunnel connection here. Now, what if you're using the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint app, but you're not using Tunnel? In that case, you will see only the first three tabs as long as you don't have a Tunnel VPN profile connected, like this, where all we see is the dashboard, app security, and web protection tabs. Now, if you're using Tunnel, but you're not using Defender for Endpoint, that's fine too. Either through a setting in the VPN profile, or by not being licensed for Defender for Endpoint, you will only see a single tab for Tunnel, like this. Note that the existing Tunnel standalone app for Android has been deprecated and will be removed from the store after August 14th, 2021. Be sure to try out the combined app today for Android.